everyone will think that you're just a genius because you're just like knocking these things out. But it's a, it's a encouraging to hear that you failed it four times because that's an encouragement for everyone else. There's a lot of people that, you know, oh, Stefan, you're a genius. No, I, I anybody, I will tell you right now, any viewer on this show can do what I did. Anybody. You just need to put the time and the effort into it. That's That's all that it takes. It's not about, most of this stuff is, yeah, you have to have you have to be intelligent, you know, to 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 grasp these concepts. But anybody can do it if you just put the time and effort into it. But it, I love the it's been it's been proven over and over again that intelligence isn't the solution. It's hard work and putting the time in. Yeah, like you, you put the time and you yeah. put in the work. Obviously, mm-hmm. you have to have a certain aptitude for the stuff. But what's that? What's that saying in the gym? The gyms don't the, the weights don't 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 lift themselves. Right. Kind of thing. It's like you yeah. have to put the work in, right? You have to be disciplined. And it's like, you know, a lot, yeah. maybe uh, this might be too much information, but one of the things that I normally do when I'm pursuing a certification is I kind of set a goal in mind. Like, here's when I would like to sit for the exam. Um, and then I sort of quantify, all right, here's all the material that I need to get through between now and then. Let's say it's two books that I have to read between you know, now and three months from now. And, and those two books are about 2,000 pages. Well, I'll do the math here's how many pages I need to read per day if I want to hit my target. And you got to stick to that. And if you miss a day, let's say it's 17 pages a day. I need to read 17 pages a day. If I miss a day, well, I have to read 34 pages the next day. And you have to show that level of discipline or else you'll just, uh, it's, it's difficult. But, you know, people that are disciplined tend to accomplish their goals uh, a little bit easier. You, or, you know, when you when you miss a deadline, you just have to be willing to like kind of recalibrate. All right, I'm going to have to do 34 pages today. Or if I miss three days in a row, I'm doing, you know, 52 pages or something, 54 pages. And that's definitely not too much information. You should actually give us more. So have you got any, because a lot of people are like, okay, how do, give, give me study tips, give me like advice. Because you've, you've been on this journey, you've got five of these, man, it's insane. Uh, what other tips have you learned along the way? This isn't necessarily a tip, but we were talking a little bit about, you're talking about money and people, you know, the, the issues with spending money. And let me talk a little bit about that for just a minute, because this is a lesson that I've really learned over the years. You might be in a, in a job where you're, you're making decent money. You've got, you know, you're in IT, but perhaps you want to elevate your career to the next level and you want to pursue some certifications or you want to pursue some, some training. There are just unfortunately a lot of employers out there that don't make that investment in their employees. Um, kudos to the ones that do, but I've seen that there's plenty that don't. Or um, maybe you want to, let's say I, I, I'm doing service provider type work but I want to start learning more about security. So my employer may not necessarily want to, you know, approve that training for me because it's not really directly in my scope of work. Right. So, you know, for those that are already maybe already making some money, you're in the industry and you want to maybe upskill, you want to elevate your career, you want to learn some new skills. I will tell you right now, if your employer isn't willing to invest in you, you should be willing to invest in you. It's the best investment you can make is spending your own money. That has never stopped me when I wanted to pursue something. You know, sometimes it's a difficult pill to swallow because these trainings are not cheap. You know, it might be three, four thousand, five thousand dollars for a one week. Um, but it's always in my case, um, paid back in dividends. So that's, that's a bit of advice for people is just be willing to invest in yourself. Um, number two, I would say is, um, if you are interested in pursuing one of these certifications, especially the higher level, one of the best ways that you can motivate yourself is to go and actually sign up and pay for the the expert level exam, get it on the calendar. Cause now you're kind of on the hook, right? It's like, all right, I know I'm scheduled to take this in three months. So I've really got to get my ducks in a row because, you know, granted you could reschedule the exam if you wanted to, but just having that date on a calendar, just it's visualizing it and seeing it like, okay, I've got to make some tangible progress because I've got a date in mind. So goal setting, that's really important. Sort of just looking at the the mountain, you know, you, so when you look at these books, right, some of them, they're like, you know, this thick and, and it just seems like it's going to be a real uh, difficult or like a Herculean task 
to get through a book of this nature. But guess what? I've done, I've done like 30 books of this size in my career. It's just, if you just doing 15, 20 pages a day, you'd be amazed at how quickly you're, you know, you're knocking a hundred pages out uh, every five days. And, you know, before you know it, a, a 1500 page book is, is, is finished. So having that discipline, having a structure, setting goals, um, investing in yourself, using things like the Elevate community to reach out to other people who have already passed these exams and getting some, tri- some type of an idea from them. That, that's probably one of the best things you can do is networking with, with folks, similar like-minded folks that are pursuing the same um, track or have already done that. So you can kind of learn from their experience. But yeah, I mean, there's so many uh, good lessons. But yeah, I think for me, the one that is, really resonates the most is invest in yourself. And I don't think enough people do that. I think a lot of people want to blame their employers. Oh, well, I want to do this training, but my employer won't pay for it. Well, you know what? Invest in yourself. 